Hello folks, Triple T Cat here. Welcome back to part 5 of my playthrough of Civilization 6 playing as Rome on the Emperor difficulty. Um, it's actually been a few days since I played, so I can't, don't quite remember exactly what was happening, but I'm sure we'll figure it out pretty quickly. Um, I'd actually been planning for these videos to come out a bit faster than they have been, but you know, uh, sometimes life gets in the way, I guess. Uh, I have a really busy semester for university this semester, which uh, I'm basically committed to making, well, I was I was trying to produce a song, like writing, recording, uh, you know, mixing, all that, all that good stuff, uh, every two weeks for ten weeks from nothing, which is a pretty ambitious schedule considering there's just one of me and we're talking about pretty complicated music, uh, which, it's been good though. Uh, I guess some of you already know if you've uh, if you've watched like the live stream because I live stream some of this stuff. We are going to want to be able to purchase apostles. Did we actually get a religion yet? I don't think we did. No, but we will get our great prophet soon, and we're going to want to be able to get apostles shortly thereafter. Does Kyoto need anything else? More vitally, though. I don't think so. I think we'll just go ahead and build the temple. It's not... I mean, it's going to take kind of a while. I'd kind of rather have better production here, but... We are about to be able to create a lumber mill, so maybe I get another builder, improve this with a lumber mill and stuff before I... before I get started on that temple. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually, because that production in Kyoto is pretty... pretty garbage. Uh, let's see, what was I doing with these guys? That's right, I was just... Keeping an, eye, keeping an eye out for settlers coming out of Congo. That is why this guy is here. Yeah, I was live streaming some of my music production that I was working on this semester. In fact, the plan had been to live stream all of it. What was I doing with this dude? Hmm. I have no idea. I'm just going to send him down to Ravina, keep an eye on this border. After all, we are expecting a war fairly soon here, particularly with all these Arabian warriors setting up on our border. I was planning to live stream all the music production, but I found that, uh, and I may actually go back to live streaming some music production after. I'd imagine the whole world is one big machine. Hush now. After this semester is over. Because I, I was really enjoying it, but it made everything take longer, because you kind of have to take time to explain what you're doing, and also a little bit self-conscious, so it was harder for me to get uh, good takes that I was really happy with when I was playing my instruments and stuff like that. Although that's that's just something that I would get over with time if I live-streamed it consistently for a while. I mean, it was the same when I first started doing YouTube. I felt kind of self-conscious about it. I need to pick something to research. I, I'm i kind of annoyed that I don't have any uh, boosts for any of these things, but I think I'm going to get apprenticeships so we can get some industrial districts happening there. Quite good. Yeah, let's go with apprenticeship. None of this is jumping out at me as being particularly great or particularly wrong. Okay, I guess Rome just finished this bath, I think. Yeah, looking good housing capacity-wise. That's pretty sweet, the, uh, the bath. Good building. I maybe want to get a campus here. I was planning, I think, to go for a science victory in this game, and I I have one campus in Seoul, but otherwise I haven't actually built any camp I. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's campuses uh, just yet, so that might be a good idea. Then again, I am worried about this war that's going to be happening, so I'm kind of considering building an encampment just to give ourselves some military boosts. Although it would be better to build that on one of these border cities rather than in Rome, probably. Uh, I do want more settlers. I do want more settlers, actually. Actually, I probably should have had Kyoto build another settler, because there's still, there's still a lot of settling that I want to do in this game. Yeah, we better we better get settlers. I think, yeah, that's, that's right. I remember now. I remember what I was doing. I was, I was trying to focus on having a time of expansion for my lands but I got distracted in the intervening days. 
So I may go back to live streaming music production after this semester is over, and I'm kind of don't have the time pressure on me anymore. Like, that was really the sort of big issue was having that time pressure. And combined with the fact that live streaming made things go a bit slower, it just it just wasn't really working out for me. I'm thinking of building the aqueduct and like a bath here, but I think I think we'll get a settler here first as well because we do we do want to be getting these settlers out relatively quickly. But I've been feeling pretty good about this whole YouTube thing uh, recently, actually. Like for a long time, I was just just found that I wasn't really interested in doing it anymore. It was no, it wasn't like a there was no like big like life choice moment or anything where it's like I'm done with YouTube or anything like that I just didn't feel like making videos so I didn't make any videos but uh, lately lately I've been feeling a lot more I don't know interested in getting back into it I mean I'm not gonna promise anything but I'm thinking I'm going to get a couple of let's plays of other games coming up soon I kinda wanna make a video about the new ED patch but I don't have much to say about it it's kind of disappointing and aside from saying that I find it kind of disappointing, I don't, I don't have much else to to say about it really. Okay, where do I want to send this settler? Let's think about that first. So, I was gonna settle two cities here and here, to sort of finish blocking off Sumeria. Oh, they're gonna be sending missionaries at me soon, the bastards. And I want to settle down here. Um, well, none of these strike me as being particularly higher priority than any of the others, so what's going to be the best cities? <laughs> what are, what will be the best cities? This place is going to be kind of rough because it's in the tundra, but we do get access to this copper. Oh yeah, wasn't I also going to found a city down in here, possibly, or even on this side of the mountains? Wasn't there... I thought there was some iron down around here or something, but apparently that was wrong. So, I mean, I might put a city there, but it's a bit... I'm not too sure, because it's pretty close to, uh, Iridium. This is a pretty good place for a city. Uh, this is okay. And this is pretty rough. I think I'm actually going to send this guy here, though, because it's a little bit closer than sending him all the way down south, and we'll have other settlers to deal with that soon. So, we do want a total of at least three more. So, we're building... Yeah, we'll have a city there. Okay. So this guy's gonna go here, and then one, two, three, yep, okay. So that's enough set ores for now. No more, no more spamming out set ores just in the moment. This place's production kinda sucks. Uh, we could get this iron improved with a builder, that would be a good idea. Although this Kyoto builder is only going to have one thing to do at Kyoto, so he can, that builder can do this. Uh, housing, growth, all that stuff is good here. Do I want more military units? I think we're still... The, this is a little bit intimidating, but it's just that my military is a bit spread out. We actually have plenty to deal with, I think, any kind of attack on our southern border. I think we'll just try and get the production up here a little bit by building the water mill, which is not as good of a building as it was in Civ Five. It doesn't feel like, but still a good building, and I guess it doesn't cost any maintenance now, so that's nice. like Civ 6. <laughs> I, think I, already, I think I already kind of exhausted that point of discussion, but it's, I don't know. I was, uh, I was enjoy playing this. Which is nice. Uh, considering how much negativity I tend to feel a lot about, uh, about a lot of games, how much they tend to annoy me. I'd really like to get back into live streaming online games, but my connection here just does not really... Like, it used to be fine, but I think the games themselves became more demanding on your on your upload bandwidth, and yeah, it just doesn't really work super good now. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 1 and a fair bit of Overwatch, both very good games, in my opinion. But, uh, I don't know. The tyranny of living with Australian internet means it doesn't seem super viable to stream them, which is a shame. So that'd be, that'd be like the good old days of the uh, Bad Company 2 streams and stuff like that, but it just I just don't think it's possible, which is unfortunate. Why are you declaring war on me, Bismarck? I expected Congo and Arabia to declare war on me. I don't even know where Germany is. Aren't they way off in the fucking distance? Ah, uh, okay. Joint war with, uh, with Arabia. Okay, 
Okay. So, Germany... Because they're way over there. Germany probably isn't going to do anything. Um, I guess we'll be trying to use this as an opportunity to expand a little bit more to the south. Um, do I want to take Cairo? Like, I could just beat these guys off. <laughs> and uh, leave it at that, but... Perhaps I will use this as an opportunity to get a few more cities under my belt, eh? Kind of want to leave these guys here, because I still don't want uh, Samaria successfully sending any settlers out. I mean, yeah, I definitely want to found some more cities over here, so we'll, we'll leave those guys there. I think we'll have plenty to deal with this anyway. You're going to come up here and turn into a legion. Uh, Raven is not in any immediate danger, although we should get walls. I don't think it's possible to purchase walls with gold. No, it's not. But I don't think I don't think Ravenna is in any particularly large danger. I think it's okay. I'm kind of surprised Congo didn't also join in on this war, but glad because it means I don't need to fight them as well, which is nice. Scythia has been targeted by a declaration of war for a declaration of war by Arabia. Hmm. Huh. So these down there. I guess Arabia wants to fight a war on two fronts, which is generally considered not to be a good strategic move, but, I mean, whatever. If that's what they're into, I guess, that's fine. Yeah, Saladin declared war on Tomris. Huh. Seems like a stupid, stupid move to me, but whatever. AI knows best, I guess. So, we're not going to need walls here. Like, this is going to be... The front is never going to get this far into my empire. They're not going to They're not gonna come up here. So, we're not worried about getting walls here. We could build some more military units, but it's going to take kind of a while because we just founded this city. I'm thinking... Um, actually, all this stuff is going to take a bit too long. Maybe, maybe another builder. I do like builders. Uh, do I have that policy on for... Do I have any policies on that boost my builders? And if not, maybe I should think about it, because I'm apparently going to be building a lot of those guys just at the moment. Yeah, 30% production towards them. Good. Very good. Maybe I'll do, um... I didn't do the base game, because at the time I just wasn't feeling like making videos, as we previously discussed, but... Maybe when I get the Dark Souls 3 DLC, which I haven't purchased yet, I'll uh, play through that. I could even stream that, actually, because it's not uh, not really an online game. I mean, there is the PvP aspect, but that is laggy as fuck regardless of whether I'm streaming or not. So, I mean, may as well stream it, right? Uh, you, I kind of want to get down here, but I feel like it's a bit of a dangerous expansion. Just at the moment, what with the war going on, so we'll send, we'll send this settler here. And I think this will be a good place to start building up some more troops. Again, we don't really need walls here. These two cities, we want to get walls built uh, soon. But these places can focus more on military. So we've only seen warriors from them so far. So I'm thinking the heavy chariot. I mean, the legion is obviously our best unit, but it's going to take kind of a while to build just here because there's not that good of production. So I think, I think a heavy chariot, which will do well against things that aren't spearmen. We definitely want walls here. And start connecting up these resources outside the Retium. Why is there... Why are there these circles here? That's kind of weird. You normally see these little loops of road when there was going to be a wonder somewhere, but you got beaten to the wonder. But I was definitely never building a wonder outside my territory, so I don't really know what's up with that. I'm just going to ignore that, though. Oh, hey, I can, I can turn this dude into a crossbowman. Excellent. The better my murder, the, the better, I guess. Particularly in times of war. I like how... <laughs> I like how I still have this happy, cheerful music playing. In Civ V, when you were at war, you would generally have some sort of gloomier, more dramatic-sounding music. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gilgameshu. You want my extra truffles. Three gold a turn, 99 gold immediately in open borders. Yeah, sure. That seems fine. <laughs> yeah, in Civ Five, anytime you were at war, you tended to get this sort of dramatic, uh, tense music, but apparently uh, the game has correctly identified that this war is not particularly a threat to me. 
and I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to expand my borders a bit more, so... No sorrowful or dramatic music for me. I might as well send this dude down to take out this camp. I'm a little bit leery of these missionaries. I don't really want the missionary spam from Sumeria coming up the works. I could get... Oh. Because I... I guess the era advanced. There's somebody else got that other prophet. That's annoying. I probably would have been able to buy that last great prophet at some point if I just checked on the correct turn. That's annoying. I'm guessing one of the other players bought it. Oh well. I will still be able to get to the next one. You upgrade as well. I'm kind of confused by this, because it seems like Arabia is not really doing much to attack me. I don't even know what their military is like, and generally speaking, from a war on Emperor, I would be expecting this to be a little bit harder on me, but, uh, I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. If Arabia doesn't want to fully fuck me up, that's, uh, that's good, I guess. There's nothing left for this guy to do with Seoul, so I'll go over there and improve that iron, I guess. Well, that will leave the Kyoto Builder with not a whole lot to do, but that's all. That's all fine. You can always just build farms. Yeah, this guy's starting to send his missionaries. I could declare war on... Where are you taking that settler, Samaria? If that settler comes in my direction. Well, I mean, if he settles down here on the coast, I guess that doesn't bother me. I wasn't planning to expand any more towards him than uh, this, so if he wants to found a city down there, I guess that's alright. Gilgamesh will tear your army apart with his own hands if you do not move them. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna promise to move them, but also I don't want to declare war, so I'm just going to ignore this request. They're just there to, you know, keep an eye on his borders. I'm not I'm not planning to attack him. Do I want to swap out these policies? Because we're almost done with building settlers for the time being. Uh, maybe just get urban planning back on there. Generic additional production. I think it's going to be good. And I guess I'll research defensive tactics for my next civic because it is the only option. Often a good choice to select the only thing you can select. Yeah, I mean, Cairo, it does have walls, which is going to make it a little bit harder to attack, but it's not like super, uh, 33 strength is not like a lot really, so I'm, I may just go down and take out Cairo, because, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good location, pretty big city. I may as well add it to my empire. I mean, wasn't, wasn't really planning on it until, you know, they declared war on me, but... Oh, man, they're at war with Brazil as well? Man, Arabia, you kind of fucked up. You're at war with, like, a lot of people. Three people on three different fronts. <laughs> now all they have to do is declare war on Congo, and then they'll really be screwed. Kyoto is starving. No, or not growing. Oh, prioritize food. Okay, that didn't help. Yeah, this is kind of a problem, because there's nowhere I can build farms, because it's all tundra. Japan got a really rough, uh, raw deal with this starting location. I feel kind of bad for them, to be completely honest. Where's that settler gone? No idea. You. You. Come back here and help with this camp as well. I don't... I'm guessing it, he must have gone off this way as well to found another city in that direction, which would be good because, you know, it wouldn't be towards me. This scout will survive another attack from this guy if he's fortified, I hope. I hope. Ah, uh, why, why risk it? Why not just run him away? Yeah, so the missionary spam has well and truly begun. It's one of the more annoying things about playing this game. I'm not going to say it's like bad AI, because it makes sense when you consider that it's one way you can now just totally win the entire game. But it is annoying to, uh, to see just this massive fucking spam of missionaries coming into your lands. 
Later on, however, I'm going to spam a billion Inquisitors. Once I have my own religion up, and then uh, that will, you know, prevent the missionary spam from really doing a whole lot to me. It's something I had to do in my first game as well to basically block a religious victory from Japan. It's it's just it's just super super annoying to deal with though. I'm not really sure. Like the religious game is more interesting than it was in. Crossbowman is actually just straight up stronger than a catapult, so maybe I don't want to bother building catapults and just get more crossbowmen. Although the catapults get uh, promotions that make them better at attacking cities. Uh, we really only care about killing Cairo, so we maybe don't even need to get much more military, actually. Maybe I'm better off just focusing on some other stuff. Like, I do want to get a campus up quite soon. Uh, money situation's good, housing is growth and stuff are good here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and build this campus, because we got good production. Is there anywhere really good to put it? Not so much, like we got a couple of decent spots. I'll put it on this desert tile. Desert tiles are good locations for districts, because when you put a district somewhere, it can't be worked. I mean, you can eventually put specialists in it that produce whatever the district produces, so like, I'll eventually be able to put dudes in the campus to produce science, but you don't get the tile yield anymore when you're doing that. So when you build a district, you're pretty much giving up the tile yield of whatever's on that tile. And so the desert is a good place to build them because you don't get any yields from desert anyway, so you're, you're not, you just don't lose anything. Uh, do I just want to put down another campus here as well? How are we doing for amenities? Like, I, I think we're not having any need for entertainment complexes anytime soon. I didn't build any entertainment complexes in my first game. I just ne never needed to. Had plenty of amenities from other sources. Uh, we did want to get this temple here. Well, yeah, let's build that temple now. Because we did want that. Yeah, we might actually have enough to take out Cairo without really needing... Many more military units, and if we don't, I mean, I don't really care about getting Cairo. I definitely want to, you know, defend myself, make sure I don't lose any of my current stuff, but I don't really care that much about actually expanding any further to my south than I currently have. I have plenty of territory. I'm going to have a lot of cities uh, to get those campuses in and get my science really happening. On the other hand, I mean, one of Rome's sort of biggest benefits is related to capturing other people's shit. You know, you get uh, you get free things when you conquer cities, and you have I have these legions up right now, which are super, super strong, so it's a very good time for me to be trying to invade people. So maybe I should, uh, maybe I should try and be aggressive in this war and take their stuff, the even though it wasn't no initially really my plan. I guess I'm going to say, like, it would be nice to take Cairo, but I'm not going to consider it a particularly high priority. Would we want to get the Petra? The Petra is a very good wonder if you have a city with a lot of desert tiles, and we kind of will have, like... This place is going to have a fair, like, a fair few. It's going to have these three, and Rome's going to have uh, three desert tiles as well. Oh, wait, four. These four desert tiles... So, I mean, we might want to think about building the Petra. Possibly. Is this... Yeah, well, that's a desert tile as well. We might want to... Ah, I don't, I don't think there's anywhere particularly good for it. I'm, I'm just going to not get that for the moment. The Terracotta Army is actually quite good. Uh, for this archaeologist bonus, but I don't really care about that in this game. I didn't build the Colossus. What does the Colossus go for me? That uh, Colossus kind of sucks. Uh, I'm just going to get Celestial Navigation because it's fast. We don't particularly need any of these things, but we will just continue advancing up the tech tree, I suppose. Uh, you... There's no way through here, so you're going to come... You're going to come right around this way. I'm just trying to send my scout over here as well to get a bit of a better look at what Cairo has for military units, because right now 
Our intelligence is fairly limited. But it looks like they don't have much of an army, really. I mean, we're pretty close to the city now. Yeah, so they will be able to bombard us. It's going to make things a little bit tricky, but I think it'll, I think it'll be all right. Hmm. You better just fortify. I feel like if I actually attack with him, he's going to end up dead. Antium. Antium. Production is pretty garbage here. We are going to need a granary here because Antium does not have any fresh water and will never be able to build an aqueduct. So we definitely will need a granary in Antium for housing and food. So I will build that. These guys, yeah, they're going to get shot by the city. So Karo's uh, bombard is fairly dangerous. It might not be it might not be worth committing to actually attacking Cairo. I mean I think it'll be fairly easy to get it with getting in there with my ranged troops. So it might be worth it. We'll think about it next turn. Defense is superior to opulence. Do I want to shove on... Right, I don't have any military policy slots, so... Whether I want to shove on limes or not is somewhat irrelevant, since I cannot. Uh, let's get battle cry. Okay, now you kill him. Yeah, we're starting to get converted here, which is annoying. How are we, getting, how are we doing for this great profit? We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh man, I didn't realize I could build Roman forts outside of my own territory. That's kind of cool, actually. I wonder how much movement that costs. That's going to help a fair bit, though, because if I, if I put down forts, uh, places where I'm going to position my crossbowmen to shoot into the city, those crossbowmen will have some sort of free defenses while they're attacking, which is actually pretty, pretty good. This guy's going to die if he just stands here and tanks too many more hits, though, so I don't know if that's going to be... Because I think it might take away my movement. I don't think it's a viable thing to do right now. But I can move back here and then take this promotion. Now, Tortoise would be more useful just at the moment than Commando. But if you look at what the final thing you get is, plus one additional attack per turn if movement allows, can move after attacking. Um, that thing is so good that it's essentially, even though Tortoise would be fairly useful here, I don't think it's worthwhile delaying getting to this final promotion because it's so good. Like, that is so much stronger than anything else. Are we going to get the boost for any of these? Rome is going to get to 10 population in 6 turns, so we will get a boost for civil service relatively soon. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's research civil service. We'll get we'll get a little bit of a boost towards it near the end of its... It's researching, which is fine. Which is completely fine. We gotta figure out a way to get Kyoto more food. Uh, we could just buy the, the deer tile and then improve it, or we could buy this tile, which is gonna be better. Yeah, in fact, let's do that now. And uh, clear our citizen preference, so it should move the citizens around. Okay. Well, that helped a bit. It's still not great. But that did help a little bit. Hmm. You go and improve these sheep. If there's one thing I like more than sheep, it's improved sheep. Well, that was a bad place to move. Crossbow will be fine, though. He's just a warrior. They're not very strong. It really seems pretty stupid for Saladin... Saladin of Arabia here to have uh, declared war on so many people at once. Uh, no. I'm going to keep my second source of iron. It's a decent deal, but I'm... <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> I'm going to keep my second source of iron because uh, there are some things that you need two sources of a strategic resource to build unless you have, like, an encampment. So, 
uh, it's worthwhile keeping two copies of strategic resources, in short, just so you can build shit all over the place. Okay, go and put down a plantation here. I'm a little bit worried about this guy being killed by the spearmen next turn if I actually attack there. This is this fight with this encampment has become a bit hairy, actually, but I think if those guys just fortify for the moment, it'll be fine. No, they're actually backing off here. I guess they don't want to get murdered by these crossbowmen, but unfortunately for them, the murders will be coming. Kind of annoyed about these settlers blocking my military units from moving around as freely as I'd like down here, but I'm not... I mean, I could declare war on Scythia just so I can annihilate those missionaries, but... I'm not going to, in short. Although it is kind of annoying that, have some Catholicism. Du, 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 du. Hey, Congo, my production's not bad. That was, uh, he sent me that message because of his agenda. I guess he likes people who produce a lot, and he decided my production was not high enough, but that's just a bit silly because there's nothing wrong with my production. Okay, I think that warrior is toast because the spearmen are going to kill him. This guy actually survives. I'll be pretty surprised. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. That's a shame. Course by the stars, not by the light. Barbarians plundered a traitor unit. Ah! There's not even a camp anywhere down here. It doesn't look like, but I did. My scout did see a uh, barbarian scout wandering around down here. I guess so I shouldn't be too surprised. However, that is super fucking annoying. This means I need to build another trader. Is this on hills? No, it would be on hills if I moved here. And I do tend to prefer founding cities on hills. Was there some reason? I'm trying to think if there's some particular reason I wanted this spot and not this spot where there's hills. I can't see anything. I think we want to I think we want to be on these hills and not right there. Uh, construction cuz why not? You are going over here. This is going to be another city that's going to be kind of hard to grow, at least for a while, but that's okay. Keeping our borders nice and secure is important to us. Man, Seoul has really good production. Uh, ooh, we can build the Great Library here. Receive a boost to all ancient and classical era technologies. Plus two science, one great scientist point, one great work for writing. I mean, it's not a great wonder, but it's good. We'll have to take out a farm to build it, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Yeah, fuck it. We got good production there, and... It's a good building to have, so may as well build it. Rafina, you need walls. You need walls. I want these fucking missionaries, man. I want to build things on these tiles. They're just blocking me. It's not even... I don't even care that much about the getting converted thing at this point, because I'm going to fix that later when I spam a billion Inquisitors. Like, I'm not worried about anyone else winning a religious victory against me by converting all my shit. Because it's just not going to happen. I won't allow it. But for the time being, these missionaries are really beginning to piss me off. Anyway, I think I'd better end this part here. In fact, uh, I believe this one has run a little bit longer than intended. But that's fine. It's getting sucked into it. It's a pretty good game. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really want... Is there any chance, like, you would just give me one of your cities? Le. Le. No? Okay, well, in that case... How about all your money? Le. And a considerable amount of gold per turn. Le. Oh yeah, and, and the silver. And the sil- thank you. Oh, I already had that on there. Alright! Sure. I don't know why you even declared war on me in the first place. Thanks for not being such a dick. She'll give me iron. I don't need the iron, but how about... 
how much gold per turn would you actually give me? You won't give me nine gold a turn for two luxuries? Well, fuck you then. No, you should reconsider. That was a good deal for you still. Why am I an evil upon that? I never did any- you have different governments. Okay, well, I guess that's fair enough. I mean, that that kind of makes sense. You know, having differing political ideologies, different systems of government could be a cause of divide between two nations, I suppose. Can't be too mad that he's mad about that. Although I will have to annihilate him for it later. My troops are outside your borders because you just declared war on me and I was moving them to attack- What? 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 Yeah, my troops are merely passing by. Holy shit, dude. They're there because I was just at war with you. Anyway, as I was saying, that's going to be the end of this part. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you in the next one.